Okay, this is a video that's going to show how to use the Marlin calibration pattern to make a pressure advance G code file that'll help you calibrate your pressure advance for Clipper or for RepRap firmware. You're going to use the calibration pattern uh, link that I have posted here, and then uh, you can enter all the information for your printer. You can just do it as a 300 if you have a 300 and a 400, it's the safer bet. Uh, that's why I usually make mine as 300, so I can use them for either printer. Leave the speeds alone, except for the movement speed. Um, retract speed, you know, I usually set that to what I actually use, which is usually 50 over 30. Acceleration, leave it 500. You want the acceleration low, so that you can see the effects of pressure advance a lot better, high acceleration makes you need pressure advance a lot less. Um, the uh, stepping values, you want the highest to be 0.1 since we have a very good extruder setup with direct drive. If you're Bowden, you want to leave it to the stock settings. If you're using a 0.2 nozzle or a 0.3 nozzle, change it, still use the 0 0.005, but make it start at 0.1 and go to point 0.2 instead because it'll be the next you know be a little bit higher values still extremely low most important things in the G code you need to add a G32 after the G28 otherwise it will not tram and you'll probably dig into your uh, build surface and then also you need to add a travel acceleration value because um, repo firmware I'm pretty sure and clipper um, both will not accept the acceleration value if you don't do that. Then you're gonna open it up in a notepad uh, or notepad plus plus or any text editor that um, doesn't really mess with the formatting. You can use WordPad but then you have to make sure it saves like in a regular ASCII to um, or as ASCII format. Um, you're gonna do a find and replace like how I just showed. Um, that was the settings for Clipper, and then for RepRap firmware, you're going to do the same thing, M900 space K, and then you're going to replace it with M572SODO, all capitals, make sure it's always all capitals. If it's on Clipper, it's going to be set pressure advance, advance equals, and that's what you're going to have it replaced with as was shown in the video. Um, I click replace, make sure it does it, it looks right, and then I click replace all. I always click place all twice just to be safe, even though, you know, but sometimes if you click lower on the file back, so you might skip the first one. And then you just save the file so that it actually, you know what it is, so it stays in the printer. And now whenever you get new ABS, you can use the same file over again. And you can start getting all the values for all the different types of filament you have. But, uh, or in the future, you can just open up the file in Notepad and just change the temperatures. So if you're printing with a different filament with the same nozzle.